I mean, it's my own fault. I chose this life. Now people I care about are getting hurt because of me. Jason, none of this is your fault. Rick put you through hell on that stand because of me. I Elizabeth. don't care. I don't regret any choices we have made for Jake. Jason, I never wanted to cut you out of Jake's life. Or out of mine. It might have been easier for all of us. If I asked you to give up your son to another man, I would never tell you that you couldn't see him. This has made your life too complicated. <sighs> I'm in knots every day, trying to do what's best for Jake and to protect Lucky as well. And look at what happened. I ended up hurting Lucky even more. And what about Lucky? You think you can get past the fact that we were together? I don't know. At least it's out in the open so he can come to me and talk about it. Or not. He just needs to decide what he wants. And what about you? What do you want? Lucky and I have been living a lie for almost a solid year. Since before we got married, I don't know if he's going to be able to get past this. I mean, he lied. We've, we've all been lying. Yeah, well, I, before we got married, he admitted to everything. He thought we were being honest with each other. I'm the one who decided that he wasn't strong enough to handle the truth. He felt betrayed, he's insulted, and if I were in his shoes, I would feel the same. But when he was taking those pills, he almost destroyed himself. I can't risk him relapsing. And I honestly believe that no matter what happened, Jake would be safer if everyone thought he was lucky. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're looking out for your kids. Well, that's not how Lucky sees it. And what if he decides to leave? What would, what would you do? Raise my boys on my own. Is that what you want to do? Well, do you want the optimistic spin or the unpleasant reality? Just tell me where we stand. Rick has done a very persuasive job of making it look like Elizabeth has been covering for you. Rick never got over Elizabeth, and it kills him that she was with me. Yeah. Well, be that as it may, Elizabeth has now perjured herself by lying on the stand and saying that you are not her child's father. You don't think Rick bought it? He seemed to. But my guess is it won't take him long before he decides he wants it verified by a paternity You see, this, this, this is the problem. Diane, it has nothing to do with the trial at all. You need to tell the judge that it's irrelevant. Jason, of course I will do everything I can, but Rick is going to argue that if Elizabeth would lie about that, she would lie about your activities on the De Lorenzo Alcazar disappeared. Now, Rick could get a court order to have a paternity test on little Jacob Martin. Jacob Martin, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Jason, but Elizabeth just was not subtle when she chose that name. A paternity test would prove that the boy is your son. Rick would score even more points for his case. You will be that much closer to a prison cell. And now Elizabeth could be charged with perjury. Look, Rick may be unwilling to prosecute Elizabeth for perjury if he still harbors oh, feelings. Okay. Trust me, Rick will do anything to put me away. Okay. At this point, Elizabeth Spencer is the least of your worries. Rick is building a very compelling image of you as a professional killer. And that videotape of you arriving at the PCPD, grabbing a gun and firing at the shooters, was very effective for him. And very bad for us. What do you take? It was a tape. It was self-defense. Oh, I know it was self-defense. The point is the jury watched as you killed three men. Speed and efficiency. Despite being handcuffed and shackled, you are trained in the use of firearms. The jury now knows that. Add to that the fact that you have no alibi for the time that Lorenzo Alcazar disappeared. And Rick has even more damning evidence on the way. The audio tape of Lorenzo Alcazar saying your name, then a shot rings up, virtually identifying you as the killer. Okay, can you find a way to discredit the evidence? I think at this point it will be more effective to discredit Rick himself find a way to undermine his credibility with the jury. Nevertheless, there may come a time when I advise you to accept a plea bargain. 
No, that's not that, Diane. That is not going to happen. Listen, There's no more. Listen to me. I cannot guarantee you an acquittal. If you pass up a plea bargain and the jury convicts you of murder one, you go to prison for the rest of your life. <laughs>